Our colleague NPR's Frank Langford is finishing up five years reporting in China. Before he heads to his new post, London, we wanted to chat with him about how reporting in an authoritarian country has changed over the years. And we reached Frank on the line in Shanghai. Hey, Frank. Hey, good morning, David. So I'm trying to get my dates right. When I joined the Baltimore Sun in the late 1990s, you also were at the Baltimore Sun and you were in China at that point. I was. I was in Beijing. So what what was Beijing? What was China like back then? Very, very different. Um, it was much more closed and there was a regulation that you actually technically couldn't travel much beyond a place like Beijing without official approval. They were never going to give you official approval. So basically, you were almost all of your reporting trips were technically illegal. So you had to sneak around a lot. And I used to have a system where I would check into hotel rooms late at night and then leave early in the morning before the cops actually knew that, that I'd been there. Well, and what if the cops caught you? What would happen? Well, I get detained for questioning. And what they would do is they have this situation where the cops invite you, they give you some tea, and then they try to force you to give up your sources, basically. Um, it's kind of a light interrogation. My goodness, you just had to get used to that. I mean, and always risk being stopped in, in situations like that. Yeah, it was a little, it was, it was more of a cat and mouse game, definitely. Well, fast forward to today, 2016. I mean, is, is, is some of that still there? Have a lot of things changed? It's you know it's really interesting, David. It's it's like everything in China. It's easier and it's harder. So huh. here's the easier part: is you can now report legally in most of the country. People are a lot more sophisticated, better traveled now, and better informed. So the interviews are a lot better and more interesting. Um, the harder part is that I think the government realizes that it's been losing control of the narrative. And that narrative is the Communist Party represents the people, is responsible for all the prosperity in the country, and that democracy here would be a disaster. And it's one reason why they've been blocking so many foreign websites like the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal. And what it does to some degree is tries to convince ordinary people that the foreign press can't be trusted and should be feared, basically. And state media will often talk about how the foreign press is hyping a China story, always focusing on the negative.